सो हे गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल एंड आई एम बैक विद अनदर प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट इन रियक्ट जावा स्क्रिप्ट सो हियर यू कैन सी वी हैव अ प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट विच इज वी हैव टू बिल्ड एन एक्सपीरियंस शेयरिंग एप्लीकेशन यूजिंग रियक्ट जावा स्क्रिप्ट एंड रियक्ट हुक्स दी एप्लीकेशन शुड अलाउ यूजर्स टू एड एक्सपेंसिज डिलीट एक्सपेंसिज एंड व्यू दी बैलेंस समरी सो इफ यू न्यू टू माई चैनल मेक श्योर यू टू लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल सो डैट यू डोंट मिस योर सम वीडियोज सो वी विल डिवाइड दिस चैलेंज इन टू चंग्स ऑफ कंपोनेंट्स लाइक हियर यू कैन सी वी हैव दी फाइल नेम expense tracker dot jsx another one is the expense form dot jsx which will be responsible for adding the expenses then the third one we have the expense list dot jsx this basically lists the expenses and at last we have the balance summary which will calculate the total balance so the expense tracker is the parent component and from this parent component we will pass the data into other child components like the expense form expense list and balance summary so let's get started first of all i will create react arrow functional component and export and let's modify the jsx part after this section i will create one div i will give a class name row container after that i will create one heading inside i will write expense tracker i will pass a class name which is heading text now let's define some states so we will import u state then we will use that state here so we will create one state which is the expenses and final state will be set expenses it will be in camel case so currently it will be a blank array after that we will make one function which will be responsible for adding the expenses so i will write add expense arrow function of javascript and uh, it will assert one argument which will be new expenses okay then we will update the set expenses means the final state to the new expenses and we will get the previous expenses also okay so now i will call one component which will be expense form so we will create here react arrow functional component and export and then we will call this the expense form and what we will do we will pass one prop and we will pass this function add expense equals to add expense now let's move to the expense form dot jsx now we will create one label after that we will import use state from react so we have passed this add expenses and here we will accept that prop so we will destructure this add expense and then we will create use states so first one is for the description final state will be set description it will be a blank string after that i will create one more state which is for the amount final will be set amount and uh, initially it will be a blank string okay now after that in the input type text we will pass the value will be description we will pass the on change event and we will pass one function which will be responsible for handling the description change okay so instead of uh, defining the handle description function you can just easily pass a callback function and inside we will update the final state set description to e dot target dot value so now we will copy this label and paste it further down and now here we will write amount value will be amount and final state will be set amount to e dot target dot value after this label we will create one button and uh, it will be type submit okay and here we will write the text add expense so we will pass a class name also and i will paste it here same for this one also and in the form we will pass one on submit handler and inside we will call one function which will be 
responsible for submitting the data so after that let's define this handle submit so we will write const handle submit will be arrow function of javascript and it will accept our argument which is e a synthetic event and then we will prevent the automatic submission of the form so we will write e dot prevent default after that we will make one check that if the description or or amount is not present then generate one alert and inside I will write one text please enter both description and amount okay and then we will return after that we will create one new variable which will be const new expense and it will be a object so I will create one ID which will be new date dot get time so it will generate the ID after that we will append the description then we will append the amount and we will parse float the amount part we will pass the amount here ok after that we will call this add expense function and we will pass this new expense ok then after that I will reset the final state to empty string and then the set amount to empty string ok so we have the logic ready for the add expense then we have to show the expense list after the expense is created so for that I will create react arrow functional component and export then here I will call our expense list component and inside I will pass the expenses equals to expenses ok and then I will also pass one more prop which will be responsible for deleting the individual expenses the one has created so I will pass here a function which will be delete expense so let's define this function so after this add expense here I will write delete expense so here I will write const delete expense is a arrow function of javascript I will pass one argument which will be id on the basis of this id so you can see here we have while submitting the expenses we are generating the id on the basis of new date dot get time so this id is helpful when we are trying to delete the individual expenses so we will write const update expenses is equals to expenses dot filter expense we will compare the expense dot id is not equals to that id ok after that again we will update the set expenses to updated expenses so now let's navigate to the expense list and here we will destructure our props one will be the the prop which we have passed expenses and another one we have is the delete expense which is a function so here in the JSX part we will create one h2 heading and inside we will write expense list we will pass a class name which will be heading text and the parent element we will pass a class name to margin top 4 pixel ok now after that we will create one unordered list and then we will write expenses dot length if it is greater than 0 then we will map our expenses so we will write expenses dot map inside we will pass expense and then here with the help of li tag 
we will pass one p which is a special string attribute so we will pass p as expense dot id we will pass a class name which will be handy text again and now again margin top two here we will write expense dot description okay dollar expense dot amount so you can see in the expense form dot jsx we are passing description and amount and amount to be parse float so that's why i have created a sign of dollar okay you can also put a sign of rupees so after that inside li i will create one button and here we will write delete and we will pass a class name btn btn danger and margin from left and right hand side is 2 pixel then we will pass one on click and it will be a callback function so from here we will call one function which will be delete expense we have defined in the parent component so you can see in the delete expense we are passing an id which is an argument so here also we will pass the expenses dot id so from here it will get the id which is this id so after that if the expense dot length is not equals to zero then we will show a paragraph and inside paragraph i will write no expenses found okay and we will pass a class name again which will be heading text so our expense list and expense form dot jsx is ready so if i navigate to my server so you can see so local host challenge so you will see uh, we have this expense tracker currently and let's suppose if i write description as electric city bill amount will be 1000 so as soon as i will click on the add expense you will see electricity bill dollar 1000 so if i try to delete also then uh, the particular item is not deleting so we have to check somewhere our logic is wrong okay sorry so my bad it will be not expenses dot id it will be expense dot id so now after refreshing the web page again if i add the thing electricity bill 1000 rupees or dollar and now if i click on the delete button then you can see the item will be deleted so that is something so after that we have to show the balance also so we will create our balance react arrow functional component export and after this expense list we will call our balance summary and inside balance summary we will pass this expenses again as a prop equals to expenses here in the balance summary page we will destructure our expenses which we have passed inside this div we will write one h2 and we will write balance summary and inside h2 we will pass one class name and in the heading tag and in the h2 we will pass the class name which will be heading text after this we will show one paragraph and inside we will show our total balance and total balance equals to dollar and here we are going to call one function which will be calculate total balance and after that we will define this const calculate total balance arrow function of javascript and now we will return expenses dot we have a array method which is reduce so inside i will pass one is the total and one is the expense after that i will write total plus expense dot amount and comma zero so after saving this file you can see currently we have the total balance dollar zero uh, so i think i just forgot we have to pass a class name also 
which is a heading text so now we have created all the four files one is the expense form which will be responsible for adding the expenses then we have the expense list which will be responsible for showing the added expenses and then at last we have the balance summary which is responsible for showing the total balance the user or individual has added so now after saving this file if i write first one as a electricity bill 1000 click on add expenses you will see we have a total balance of dollar 1000 same we have the electricity bill of dollar 1000 now if i add another one which will be grocery expense amount 3000 click on the add expense you will see now the total balance will become dollar 4000 3000 plus 1000 so if i delete the electricity bill then the electricity bill will be deleted from the list same for the grocery expense and you can see we have this data updated which is a balance of total zero and no expenses found so that is something this is how we have implemented we have divided our code into chunks of components and uh, you can just go through this part of code we have just try to play with this logic we have and uh, add some more functionalities and try to enhance this part of ui user interfaces add some more css so this is it if you like this video make sure to like and subscribe and uh, if you have any doubt regarding this so let me know in the comment section and till then thank you for watching